Welcome to Art Making Beyond Woo. My name's Jason, and I'll be sharing my better moments of art making from the last couple weeks, and not so better moments. And today we're going to take a trip to the thrift store. Sometimes some inspiration might grab us, and either way it makes for a nice walk with the baby. So this time I scored a couple batches of some decent acrylic paints that are definitely usable, a couple books, curious reading. Most days it's really just me and Gemma, uh, so you know, I, I have to do... I have to get creative in other ways also, finding things for us to do, working in multiples. You know, exploring this approach at scale, so seeing how it fits in these different constraints. Well, it's not just the uncertainty. I have to work with these similar self-talk voices, the voices that don't understand. Don't understand why I'm just laying blocks of color. Uh, the part of me that doesn't understand why or what that's supposed to mean. All of those things get uh, get in my way all the time, also. And I don't need to know right now. And just work with laying some things down. Um, I'll remember, like, you know, just those fundamental things of, like, okay, what does this piece have or not have? Solid line work in it yet, or, you know, weathered and deconstructing objects clear shapes somewhere somehow so then it's this playful back and forth playing the game that way even and just for a little bit but then I rotate through um, kind of as quick as I can within an hour let's say like 15 minutes each and lay some things down make some marks or shapes and then set it to the side and then just go straight to the, to the next one. That's not always easy for me to do because as the paintings get further along, you know, I also like to take in what's arriving. And I don't know that that's always a good thing. That's just a bad habit of mine that I haven't worked out just yet. Yeah, I, I like adoring the work that's happening, but I realize like, it's just in that moment, uh, but I think what happens is, yeah, you can fall in love way too early. I can, for sure. Yeah, because the pieces, they, they lose when, they, when you don't have all these layers of marks and history and chronology. It just doesn't feel the same. It seems way more rewarding when I can follow a painting through to its end and not my end. It's not just some random mark or color. It eventually does accumulate and build into something that then will shift into a voice that's meaning something to me. But sometimes that won't happen until a lot later in the process. Much closer to the end of the work, but sure, there's definitely times that it uh, it'll really speak to me earlier on, and it's got to be pretty strong for me to slow down right around there. Um, probably happens more with collage. That's why I try to save the collage till later in the process. Yeah, because I've really found it's all about taking my time. It's the one thing in life where I can take my time to do do it however I want to do it, um, which then begins this whole unpacking of, well, how do you want to do it? <laughs> but that's the fun part that we should be embracing, um, really taking some time to answer some of those deeper questions. The cool thing, that's another thing to be embraced. That's what makes the magic. And then when you wrap that into your process too, it makes it makes it a little easier because then you have these constant reminders of why you're doing what you're doing and how you're doing it. Including realms of play with that too because like running experiments should be playful. 
How else am I going to know what is possible if I don't let myself try different things that I haven't tried before? That's been really helpful for me. So I hope everybody can see what I'm attempting to demonstrate here, which is uh, there's deep rewards on the other side of, of not knowing what it's going to be, especially when you can find a way to bake it into your process and then it just becomes like this self-fulfilling thing every time because you start off again the same <laughs> like unsure uncertain don't know what I'm doing and then if I notice if I just stick to the plan it always like every time I think it won't it always does like even these uh, YouTube videos are a testament for me <laughs> of the same thing like you know it's so easy the self-doubt is such a thing that's baked into our culture also you know just to see that can be enough to make the progress that you're looking for then the next time it might not feel so scary I'm really glad I wasn't certain because I certainly would have not done that that's what still surprises me every week so thank you very much everybody for liking and subscribing i really do appreciate it this has been really exciting and i'll be arriving as often as i can to share more of my ins and outs of art making beyond woo you can visit the website and find more information about these kinds of things and see more about the work that i do thank you for joining me in art making beyond woo my name is jason Cheers.